Hi everyone, this is Dimitar from the Red Mineup support team. In today's video demonstration, I'm going to show you the new OmniOut Microsoft Outlook feature that is available into our help desk after version 4.2.1. Okay, so um, let's first say what we have to do. The very first step is to go to the Azure uh, website that is portal dot azure dot com okay so uh, firstly of course you have to log in here so probably you already had an account so let's continue further with the steps you have to click on the left here so this menu menu will come up so now you have to select azure active directory All right. So now here onto the manage section and these options, um, we have to choose apps registrations, and then we have to click on new registration. All right. Here we have to set a name. It is up to you what this name could be. And here you have to select the third option, so supported account down types. So it should be accounts in any organizational directory, any Azure AD directory, multi-tenant and personal Microsoft accounts, example Skype, Xbox, etc. Okay, so the next step is to um, choose this URI, this identificator. So this is or URL, it is the other name. So here on this drop down menu you have to select web. Okay. And here you have to set http localhost. Uh, actually, this URL is going to be taken from the help desk configuration. I'm going to show it to you now. You have to uh, set precisely the URL. In my case, it is uh, on port 3033. However, in your situation, it could be different and could be not localhost as well. It could be some other. So we have to precisely check this one. It is checked into plugins, then help desk configure, and then Omni Out settings tab. So it is located here. This is the link. Okay, so this link here is taken from here. All right, so we are now done with this step and we just click on register. All right, so we have our app now registered and ready. So the next thing uh, that we have to do here is to copy the application client ID. So it is inserted here. Uh, in my case, it was uh, already using some other credentials from my, my previous testing. However, I have just deleted it now. And uh, we are going to see this uh, now new app that we have just created. Okay, so as we have said, we have to copy this application client ID. So it is done by this button here. When you hover the mouse, it says copy to clipboard. So you just click and it is copied. Okay, and you just paste it now. Okay, so now we have to create the client secret value. So it is created here on client credentials, other certificate or a secret. So you click here and now new client secret. and here a new window will come up. So uh, here it is again up to you how you will set this uh, parameters, the description and the expires field. Um, yeah, so it could be for example getting mail secret. 
Yeah, it is a good one. So expires when it will expire. It could be for some specific months or custom. We are going to set. Yeah, of course it is recommended to be less months. So for example, three months or one month. It is for security purposes. So it could be changed more uh, recently. However, um, in our current example, we are going to set, for example, 24 months. Right, so we click now Add. And, yeah, uh, we see that we got our getting mail secret done. Okay. So, um, when we return to our app, we have um, we have this uh, yeah so the thing that you have to do now is to copy the value so this is the value here it is again this is the value itself and you have to click on the button here copy to clipboard and then return back to the help desk configuration and paste it here Okay, we apply the changes and yeah, we are done here. So we have saved our global help desk Omni Out configurations. All right, so the next step is the project level steps. Firstly, you have to create a project that has help desk in it. So it could be, for example, help desk testing the Outlook feature Omni Out ok, of course we enable the contacts and the help desk and create our project alright um, yeah, you have to set some trackers, actually it has test tracker enabled by default and now we go to the help desk project uh, settings and set some yeah, set all trackers here it is only one as we have seen okay so uh, firstly we are going to set the incoming mail server settings so on the protocol drop down menu we select Microsoft Outlook right so uh, here we have to set our credentials the username and password of our Microsoft account so in my case it is Twitter test with mine up outlook dot com um, yeah and about my password uh, I have to check it Yeah, I have checked my password into the Firefox saved passwords and just copied it. So I paste my password here. Alright, and save my changes. Okay, so the next step is to authorize. So we have to authorize for the Outlook to be able to access um, our help desk. So we click on authorize. and we are now again redirect to Microsoft account.live.com so it asks us let this app access your info so we could read and write access to your mail, send mail as you etc so on this message we give yes So, uh, yeah, this is the successful uh, result of this procedure. The authorization is done when there is a green sign here. So this means that we are successfully authorized. And now we got some more options here. We could uh, change the mail folder, move on success, move on failure, etc. So uh, in our situation, we have to change 
the mail folder to inbox because it is the folder we are going to get messages from so uh, yeah now we save all right uh, so the next thing that we have to do is to set our outgoing mail, ser mail server settings. Uh, so there are some simple steps that have to be done here. We unchecked the default settings and now on the protocol we select again Microsoft Outlook. And here one very important step as well is to set the from address to be the same as the address here. So we just copy it and paste it here. Okay. So uh, we save our changes now. And we are actually done with the settings. Everything is set. However, now we are going to do some tests to see if everything is working fine into our Outlook configuration of help desk. Okay, so we go to a client email. This is my testing email. It is uh, demeter.redmineup uh, at gmail.com. So imagine this is the client who is writing to help desk and asks for some support just to test. So this is our support email, the Outlook. Okay, testing the new Outlook configuration of the help desk newest version and new feature. Okay. Let's see if this email will reach the help desk. Okay. Send it. And now click on get email. And there is one processed email. Let's go and see. Actually, this is some uh, other email from Outlook that is not our email, but we are going to check again. Yeah, one more processed email. So this is it, testing the new Outlook configuration of the help desk newest version and new feature. Yeah, it is successfully received into our help desk. So let's try to reply and test the outgoing settings because this received email means that the incoming mail server settings of the Outlook are work working correctly. However, let's reply and see if the outgoing settings are, work are going to work correctly. Okay, so we write, for example, uh, hi. Let's check if the outgoing settings of the Outlook help desk are working fine. Okay. So, on the help desk interface, everything is fine. Successful update. An email was sent to the client. Here it is again. Everything fine. There is a green arrow, that means the email is sent. Okay, so let's go back to the client's email. And here it is, the reply from the help desk agent, help desk support agent. Hi, let's check if the outgoing settings of the Outlook help desk are working fine. So this email is received onto the client's uh, site and client's email address. So everything is working fine. All right. Um, so as we have seen, this was the configuration of the help desk in relation to the new uh, feature for the Outlook Omni Out functionality. So incoming and outgoing uh, messages and configurations are working fine on the help desk. Uh, yeah, so I hope this video was good for you. 
uh, and if you like it, you can check other videos and articles of the help desk. If you have some difficulties or problems with these configurations, then please um, feel free to contact us at support at redmineup.com and we are going to help you solving your problems. So, thank you very much again for watching this and bye bye for now.